What's up crew? Dennis here. I hope you all are having a great day. It's beautiful out there. And today I want to share very quickly a few easy actions that you can take for improved mental health. And remember, if we don't have our mental health in check first, there's no way we're going to be able to follow through with exercise and dieting and all the things we want to do to improve our health our body, our lives. This is the weird chicken egg conundrum, right? We think that improving our bodies will lead to happiness, but really happiness leads to improvement. So um, the first thing I want to talk about is photo journaling with your food. Um, and you guys have maybe seen these, you know, hopefully I think they're beautiful. These beautiful photos I've been taking lately of my dinners. And essentially, I would encourage anybody who's struggling with tracking in the traditional way with my fitness pal or chronometer to consider doing a photo journal. And so literally, I mean, most of us have our phones on us at all times. Literally, just anytime you go to eat something, snap a quick picture of it. At the end of the day, um, using an app called, uh, what's it called? The Pick Collage. There's probably others. I use Pic Collage. Um, you can go into this app and just select all the uh, photos that you took that day of your food, and it'll put it into one collage, and then you just hit save, and that way you have a series of these collages. You can kind of go back at the end of the week and look like what visually, like what does my true eating habit look like? And I think this is really powerful. And the more you do it, and the more we uh, keep track of like, you know, these tricks that we know how to measure our food where it's like, you know, a palm sized por portion of protein, maybe a fist sized portion of carbs, half your plate of greens, um, you know, those carbs should be like berries. So yeah, let's talk about um, those photos that I've been sharing lately at my dinners. I mean, what does that look like, right? So those are frozen salmons. By the way, these dinners are so easy. I'm getting them all here at the store. Um, most of the ingredients are frozen or refrigerated. And I'm mostly just heating it up and throwing it on the plate. Not a lot of prep. So I'm getting the frozen Orca Bay uh, salmon fillets. And they're, I think they're wild caught or wild farmed. Not farmed, caught. I don't know. Sorry, guys. They're, but they're delicious. There's a, a mango quinoa version and a, oh, is it a pesto? Both amazing. Um, throw in the oven for about 18 minutes on 450 and we're good to go. In the meantime, I take the Organic Girl Super Greens um, full of uh, Swiss chard and some, not bok choy, but some Asian green that I haven't heard of. And uh, uh, I think I actually have it up here. Uh, Red and green, Swiss chard, tat soy, arugula, and spinach. So anyway, but, you know, really nutrient-dense greens. Um, I like to put some olive oil on that, extra virgin, and frozen berries. And this is in such an easy meal to put together. And, by the way, this is a great segue into the second half of what I want to talk about is that meal specifically, there's a reason I've been sharing it with you guys. I want you to see it. I'm trying to you know, use repetition to get it into your head because that right there is kind of the quintessential brain meal, okay? And so I've been catching up on my continuing education lately, um, I'm getting a, a certificate that's related to nutrition and mental health and behavioral change. And the bit, one of the big themes is what foods can actually improve our cognitive performance, our mental health, and our actual brain health. And the short version is, is basically a Mediterranean diet. But the, I think the reason itself is not actually the macro nutrient portions or necessarily even um, all the ingredients of a Mediterranean diet, but the micronutrients. So 
what it's boiled down to when, when um, these experts kind of explain why the Mediterranean diet is so impactful for the brain, it comes down to two things. It comes down to the um, omega-3 fatty acids and antioxidants. So the brain is so hungry for antioxidants, is what I'm learning now. And most of us are not getting nearly enough antioxidants. And this is why, and this is coming from somebody who personally leans towards being meat-based, um, but this is why we need lots of leafy greens, lots of fruits and berries and vegetables in our diet. And, and lots is relative, by the way, guys. Like as far as calorically, still we're gonna get probably most of our calories from uh, meats and fats um, and even the little bit of carbs that we're eating. Calorically, that's still gonna be high, but we have to get antioxidants. So even for um, our keto folks here, like where are you getting your antioxidants from? And if you look at that meal that I've been posting, right? It's a filet of fish. Half the plate is that organic girl, uh, super greens, some olive oil, uh, and a handful or maybe a cup of frozen berries. Spoiler, that's not a lot of carbs. Cal calorically speaking, it's not gonna throw you out of ketosis. Maybe you cut down the barriers a little bit compared to what I'm doing, but those greens, it's not gonna throw you out of ketosis, but you need those antioxidants. It's big time, big league, gonna contribute to brain health. If you have brain health, you have mental health. If you have mental health, you have behavioral health. If you have behavioral health, you have physical health because you're gonna make good choices and do the, the good things. It's a positive feedback loop. So you gotta get those antioxidants and you gotta get those omega-3 fatty acids, which is why I'm sharing photos of fish. Even though I'm a guy who loves beef, you still have to get fish into your diet. And um, the olive oil is great with um, fatty acids as well. So really, really important to be getting these kind of Mediterranean type foods. Some nuts are good also, I incorporate almonds and peanuts, um, cashews, that type of thing into my diet. Um, again, a lot of calories there, a lot of calories. So that's cool. So um, maybe that's a different conversation. I don't want to convolute, you know, too much of like just the idea of portion wise, you know, representative of, of the physical volume of food doesn't always equate to the caloric density of the food. So if my plate is physically half full of greens, it's not necessarily meaning 50% of my calories are coming from greens, far from it. Um, just a little handful of, of nuts or the olive oil and the fish is gonna provide significantly more calories. I think you all know that, but I feel like it's important to make the point. So recap, a little bit of a ramble today. Um, this is unrehearsed, I just wanted to hop on while I had these thoughts in my head. If you're struggling to track, resort back to these physical cues, think about your plate and think about balance. You know, use your the palm as a good guide for how much protein you should have at each meal. You can use your thumb, the tip of your thumb for you know how much butter maybe you should have. It's not much. Um, a tablespoon of olive oil, maybe two, um, you know, fist or a cup of frozen berries. By the way, frozen berries, um, they, they stay a lot longer, they have less mold, um, and they're delicious. I think they actually retain their uh, flavor better, and they will retain their antioxidants better. At the, on the shelf, every day that goes by, the nutrition density, the micronutrient density, and quality of the, those berries will degrade every single day, but freezing them will help retain that. Um, and try and get lots of antioxidants, lots of omega-3s, so that's DHA, EPA are the two main ones. 
uh, mainly coming from fish and nuts and chia flax. You can throw that in as well. That would be great to throw on top of your salad. Um, you can check out the Mediterranean diet, see what all's in that. I'm not saying you have to do the Mediterranean diet, but things to incorporate once or twice a week, get that brain health going. Easy hacks. I only took 10 minutes to describe. <laughs> Sorry guys, I'm long-winded, but it's too important not to talk about. All right, y'all. Peace.